with Diva Whispers, coming to you live on the rooftop of Club Plush, downtown Dallas, Texas OU Weekend. And live on the set, we have Nick Harris from the Carolina Panthers. Make sure to visit us at www.divawhispers.com. Follow us on Facebook at Diva Whispers and on Twitter at D-I-V-A-W-H-I-S-P-E-R-S. Diva Whispers was created to showcase the positive side of athletes and the celebrities. Are you involved in any charities and do you have any charities of your own that you're sponsoring? Um, well, starting at a very young age, I wanted to be extremely active in my community. Um, while going to college, I was a president of a community, um, African American community service based organization that was um, characterized with helping underprivileged children, um, the disadvantaged and the disabled. Um, as well as now, I'm partnership with United Way. I have the Nick Harris Foundation, who is dedicated to my grandmother, which who raised me. And um, that pretty much helps disadvantaged young men in urban societies. Um, as well as I'm working with Water is Life, that's out of Oklahoma City, providing um, testing tube uh, straw to um, children and people in Africa. Who do you look up to um, in your childhood? Who do you look up to? Who's like, give me two people that made you Nick Harris? Um, I, can, I can only give you one. Um, that is my grandmother, Hattie Harris. She passed away in 2005 and she is the architect of my success. Um, this is a lady who single-handedly pretty much made me who I am. Um, she ultimately gave me the wisdom and the strength to know that I can do anything that I possibly wanted to do. And I know that it sounds kind of cliche, but that's pretty much what you know she instilled within me. And what age did you start knowing that you wanted to be in football? I wrote a letter to my grandmother at the age of eight and told her I was going to go to college that she wouldn't have to pay and I was going to um, make it into the NFL. What advice would you give to expiring athletes that's trying to make it and get signed? Continue to train. Um, remember your humble beginnings and always remember that there's light at the end of the tunnel. It just depends on how far you can see. From Louisiana. And were you and your family affected by the uh, Hurricane Katrina at all? Um, funny story with Hurricane Katrina. I was my uh, freshman year at the University of Oklahoma. Um, first game of the season, I believe. And um, I, you know, we, we heard about the devastation and about phone lines and wasn't able to contact, you know, family and this, that, and the other. And I was pretty much tormented, devastated, didn't know where my family was, didn't know how far, you know, all you hear is the, the tragic reports, but you don't, actually, you don't know exactly what happened. Three days later, I called my mom. You know, I was trying to call while, you know, but I couldn't get to her because of phone lines. I finally reached her and she tells me that she had been baking cookies. That is too funny. Of course, the whole thing, so it was crazy, crazy deal. But no, in my city, the population probably doubled, but, but you know, for people traveling up north. Why did you choose to go from the Bills to Carolina Panthers? Uh, not necessarily my choice. Um, it was an injury uh, with my career, and you know, everybody knows the business side. I was released by the Buffalo and signed by Carolina. And you hurt your knee, right? Correct. How's your knee doing? I'm great, 100%. Good. What was one of the most memorable games you ever played? Most memorable, um, my ironic, the irony of today, the most memorable game that I played in was uh, my freshman year, which was actually my first start, um, Red River Rivalry, OU Texas. Um, which is today. Which is today. And everyone knows that around this time it's my birthday and I celebrate. But this particular year, my freshman year, my great grandfather had passed two days prior to my birthday. And I, I had to make the decision to either play or go home. And I'm very close with my godmother. And she said, baby, you know what? At the end of the day, your grandfather loved you and this is your dream. And he said that while, if you go home, your grandfather's gonna be at that game and you won't. What does the quote, my life wasn't a three point game winning basket. What does that mean? Actually, that was written for me. Um, it was a poem that was written for me by, by a friend, a childhood friend. And um, the last statement, which I thought was the most powerful, was that life of Nick Harris was not a game-winning three-point basket, meaning that there was no glitz, glamour, there was no hip-hop, no hip hooray, no nothing. Ultimately, humble beginnings um, to the position of where I am now, and I'm still striving to be the best I possibly can be. Awesome. I like that. I think I'm about to carry that in my life. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today, and uh, I appreciate your, your answers, and you're very humble guy, and I love that.